In the serene heart of North Carolina, where the suburban landscape whispers of unspoken realities, a tale unfolds, one that reverberates through the very soul of a community. Welcome to Case Unveiled. In this episode, we descend into the labyrinthine depths of a story that's as haunting as it is enigmatic, the Jason Jung case. Here, the threads of love, betrayal, and murder are not just intertwined, but knotted in a complexity that challenges our understanding of the human psyche. This journey isn't merely an exploration of a crime's unraveling, it's an odyssey into the intricate dance of human relationships and the fragile facade of everyday life. As we peel back the layers of this narrative, we confront a disturbing question. Can we truly ever know the person who shares our bed? Jason Young, the man who embodied the quintessential dream of suburban prosperity, was more than just a part of the picturesque tapestry of Raleigh, North Carolina. He was a husband to the vivacious Michelle, visibly pregnant with their second child, a father to a daughter whose world was filled with innocent laughter, and a resident in a neighborhood where each house was a mirror to an aspirational American life. Yet, within the confines of their home, the walls reverberated with an unsettling symphony, the dissonance of a marriage crumbling like autumn leaves underfoot. To the outside world, Jason wore the mask of the affable neighbor, the family man whose life seemed a beacon of stability. But beneath this carefully curated exterior, there were whispers, faint yet distinct, of a life fraying at the seams. Hushed arguments that seeped through the walls, Michelle's heart-wrenching laments of loneliness, and Jason's own reluctant admissions of marital strife painted a starkly different picture. This wasn't just a home. It was a stage where the performance of a perfect life was enacted, and behind the curtains, reality was a stark, contrasting shadow. As we delve deeper into the events leading to that fateful day in November 2006, the facade begins to crumble, revealing the fissures in a life that was far from the idyllic image it projected. In the shadowed days preceding the unfathomable tragedy, an undercurrent of unease seemed to course through the veins of the young household. Those who knew Jason observed a metamorphosis, a once gregarious soul now cloaked in a shroud of withdrawal and irritability. An air of foreboding hung about him, like a dense fog that refused to lift, hinting at a tempest brewing beneath his increasingly icy exterior. The murmurs began to gather momentum, hushed but hurried talks of infidelity, of quarrels so fierce they seemed to shake the very foundation of their home. Each tick of the clock, each passing day, now feels in retrospect like a grim countdown to a catastrophe. In the narrative of what was to become the young's undoing, every nuance, every seemingly inconsequential moment, took its place in a mosaic that was slowly revealing a darker truth. November 3rd, 2006 dawned, cloaked in the ordinary light of an everyday morning in the young household. But the day's descent into horror would irreversibly fracture the picture-perfect image of their suburban life. Michelle Young, a beacon of life with her unborn child, was found in a state that belied the serenity of their home, brutally and mercilessly beaten to death. The crime scene was a grotesque canvas, a harrowing juxtaposition to the smiling family portraits that lined the walls. Amidst this chaos, their young daughter remained unscathed, a silent and innocent bystander to a scene of unspeakable savagery. As investigators crossed the threshold into the young residence, they stepped into an enigma that would confound and haunt them for years to come. The sheer brutality of the act screamed a thousand words, Yet the walls of the young home, steeped in silent agony, offered no immediate confessions. Who could perpetrate such a monstrous act? And why Michelle, a woman in the full bloom of life? The questions hung in the air, heavy with the weight of a tragedy that was as incomprehensible as it was heartbreaking. As the curtain rose on the grim theater of Michelle Young's murder, Investigators found themselves navigating a labyrinth whose walls were built of dead ends and whispered frustrations. Central to this enigmatic puzzle was Jason Young, her husband, who swiftly emerged as a person of interest, cloaked in the alibi of a business trip miles from the crime scene's brutal reality. Yet, as detectives delved deeper, the ground beneath this alibi began to tremble, fissured with inconsistencies. Hotel security footage, 
a silent sentinel, had been tampered with in a manner that seemed more than coincidental. Receipts, those mundane markers of everyday life, failed to weave a coherent narrative, and witness testimonies began to chip away at the edges of Jason's carefully constructed account. The investigation, much like a darkened maze, became a quest not just to prove presence but to stitch together a story from the frayed threads of motive, opportunity, and means. In this complex tapestry, each thread seemed more disturbing than the last, each turn unveiling more of the macabre picture. With each passing day, the lens of suspicion zoomed ever closer on Jason Young. The murmurs in the community grew louder, painting a portrait of a man seemingly ensnared in a life he no longer desired. Whispers of clandestine affairs and fiery arguments with Michelle swirled, painting a chilling picture of a marriage teetering on the edge of an abyss. Every testimony, every shared memory from friends and colleagues, seemed to add a stroke to this increasingly disquieting portrait. The once peaceful community, a bastion of neighborly trust, transformed into a landscape riddled with doubt and dark conjecture. Yet in the realm of justice, suspicion alone is a ghostly intangible thing. Tangible evidence is the cornerstone. And it was at this juncture that the investigation pivoted on a crucial axis. Forensic analysis began to whisper secrets of its own, revealing a story that seemed known only to the one who had orchestrated the tragedy. This narrative, emerging from the silent testimonies of bloodstains and forensic fibers, began to point inexorably in one direction, drawing a line straight from the heart of the mystery to a truth that was as unsettling as it was inevitable. The turning of the tides in the investigation of Michelle Young's murder came not with a crescendo, but in the quiet revelations of minute details. In Jason Young's case, it was the whisper of small inconsistencies that began to tear at the fabric of his alibi. A gas receipt, a mundane testament to an everyday act, yet it didn't align with the timeline he provided. Then, the hotel security footage, a narrative in itself, had been tampered with, an act that seemed far from innocent. The most damning of all was a single, forgotten print, a silent witness in its own right. Each piece, seemingly insignificant in isolation, wove together into a pattern that was becoming impossible to ignore. The most jarring among these was the evidence from the hotel where Jason claimed sanctuary on the night of the murder. A security camera, strategically disabled, not just raised questions but screamed of intentions hidden in the shadows. This act, almost an afterthought in its execution, hinted at a sinister foresight, a premeditation that was becoming increasingly difficult to dismiss. Each piece of evidence, carefully pieced together by the investigators, was like a stone being laid in the path that led inexorably back to Jason. 2011 marked the year when the curtains finally rose on the trial of Jason Young, a spectacle that had held the community in its thrall for years. The courtroom, steeped in anticipation, became the arena where narratives clashed. Um, and her fate that was underneath, partially underneath the bed, I got a trail of the prosecution painted a portrait of a man ensnared by the trappings of a life he no longer desired, a man who, in their narrative, was willing to cross the darkest of lines to reclaim his freedom. They spun a web of circumstantial evidence, laced with testimonies that peeled back layer after layer of Jason's carefully constructed public persona. In contrast, the defense stood on the ground of reasonable doubt, emphasizing the lack of direct evidence and clinging to the tenets of the presumption of innocence. Yet, as witness after witness took the stand, the facade that Jason had built around himself began to crumble, revealing the unsettling truths that lay beneath. After weeks of gripping testimonies and the weighty deliberations of the jury, the verdict sliced through the tension of the courtroom, guilty of first-degree murder. The air was thick with a cocktail of relief and sorrow, or did she just see Michelle laying there? Did she see Michelle? Okay. For Michelle's family, it was a moment of justice, albeit steeped in the bitterness of irreplaceable loss. For the community, it was the tragic conclusion to a narrative woven with deceit and betrayal. Jason Young, once just another face in the crowd, was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, a chapter closed in one of North Carolina's most haunting criminal cases. Yet, the story did not conclude with the bang of the judge's gavel. 
It reverberated through the lives it had altered, in the ongoing discourse on domestic violence, and in the stark reminder that beneath the veneer of ordinary lives can lurk secrets so dark they defy comprehension. Thank you for joining us on this exploration with Case Unveiled. The saga of Jason Young stands as a grim testament to the hidden depths of human deceit and the length some will go to obscure their true selves. As we turn the page on this chapter, let it serve as a reminder of the relentless pursuit of truth, the need to look beneath the surface, and the continuous, often arduous, quest for justice amidst tragedies that shake us to our core. In the quiet afterglow of this story, we are left contemplating the complexities of human nature and the indelible impact of actions that ripple through lives, leaving behind questions that may never fully be answered.